Filming, Poppy. What? I'm filming. Okay, we're live on Webinar Jam. I guess I'll have to title it. Lag on YouTube. Bad lag. on YouTube catch up gotta go to my live too many things to remember oh man videos Do, 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 do. <laughs> I must not be in Chrome. Okay, everybody, I'm doing it just like I did it the other day. Oh, desktop. Take this again. If anybody's hearing me, I'm coming right there. Uh, 
Okay, here we go. Hang on, I'm coming. Come on. Allow embedding is on. Okay. All right. Um, let's go here. Yeah, I'm getting there, guys. All right, I've got the spinning wheel. There it is. There it is. Is anybody here? My internet is massively slow right now. Okay, Mary. Yeah, I'm just getting started. Um, hi, Kathy. Um, there's a few things. Once I start streaming on Webinar Jam, and then it feeds to YouTube, um, I've got a couple of things I have to change. And, of course, they're not all in the right place. All right, so I can see you guys talking. Woo. I hate doing stuff that you can't do ahead of time. And Poppy's outside, so we're going to have to put up with the chirping from the babies. Come on.
I had you there and then you moved. Whew, we got it. I don't have anybody coming into the real room yet or the jam room. So we'll just see how this goes. Um, I don't, if y'all were here the other day, what Webinar Jam does is it gets me a little bit of freedom from YouTube. And I haven't had any of the pink disco. Oops, I've got a shadow. Uh, pink disco. Flashing lights and all that. That's better. A little bit. A little bit better. Um, anyway, the quality has been better. So whether that lasts or not, I don't know. The other thing is I have the capability of switching my camera from my computer to my uh, webcam. Oh, God, I wish they'd quit. Um, so I can switch cameras back and forth. I can show you my computer screen. So once I feel comfortable with all that stuff and we get some people who come in, somebody that registers on webinar jam can actually ask to speak and we can show your picture and your desktop what you're working on so <laughs> i'm so boxed in i can't even get up and go close the door of course it wouldn't make that much difference anyway Whew, let's just chat for a minute i was a little bit late why not I got in here early because I've got everything planned and ready to go. And I'm waiting on uh, to see if Rosemary comes in. I can text this her. All right. It's so much fun to have a group of local peeps. And pretty much we all met online, which is phenomenal. Shannon Green and Rosemary Morris, Melody Willoughby, uh, Scotty. Darn, I forgot her name. Um, Sarah. I'm, I have no short-term memory, so... <laughs> that's why I stutter. I don't even know my, no, my own name. Um, while we're waiting to see if anybody joins us, um, the other day, last Thursday, I was I had some India ink out and didn't really want to waste it. So what I did was took it. Let me move this stuff because you need to see the full glory of this nasty plate. Isn't that wonderful? All this stuff just waiting to come off somewhere. Anyway, I wrote, I just did some circles with um, India ink. And then I used some nickel, quinacridone nickelazo gold. And some iridescent bronze from Golden. And I just lightly put those on. I didn't have much there. And this is the print I got. So I did pull up some of the junk. And what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to um, scan it. Okay, Mary, either way. I mean, um, apparently the um, the same stuff that they see on Webinar Jam, you'll see here. So um, we'll just wait on all that because I'm not really, we might have to have a plan for that before we start it. Like have somebody ready to show their desktop. So, okay, nobody's over there. We're getting married. Uh, did, he, did either of you watch uh, Rosemary last night? Rosemary Morris?
No? Yes? Oh, I forgot. There's a big lag. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I'm going to do with this is scan it. And then I can print it on... Um, not tissue paper. I'm telling you, my brain is gone. Hang on, I'm digging. Well, I didn't get it in here. Hmm, wonder where I put that paper. I worked in here yesterday for a couple hours. Obviously not enough because I haven't figured out where everything is yet. That's definitely not it. Okay, anyway, I can print it on... Oh, what's that stuff called? Second sheet paper. Real thin. <laughs> Whoa, I think I need to take a few seconds and be quiet. I can't think of anything. <sighs> anyway, it's the thin paper. Onion skin, that's what it is. And I can also print inkjet prints, um, possibly on deli paper, but any kind of paper that is more archival than bond paper. This is, this is the Strathmore parchment paper. Not that there's anything wrong with copy paper, but I'm trying to use better quality papers in case I ever want to do something, you know, like a larger one. I want to use this as part of the stuff, part of the painting and be able to sell it. That's what I'm trying to get out. So last night, Rosemary did this thing with, you were there last night, Mary, weren't you? Ah, there's Melody. Cool, Melody. Uh, I've got my microphone on. I'm going to turn this pad over because all this dirty stuff, um, I'm going to save. So I'm just going to put it right here on this plastic. This side is fairly clean. Now, what Rosemary was doing last night was taking pictures from magazines, like high gloss, high quality magazines like Vogue, and things like that, and cutting out pictures or tearing out pictures that had a lot of contrast. So I'm going to try it with inkjet prints and with laser prints, and we're going to see if either of those work. And, of course, I think they're backwards. So, okay, there's that one. this one Ink, um, laser prints are a little better at color if they're calibrated correctly and you can see a real good idea of this here this is a uh, low resolution photo You can see that the laser one has a little brownish cast, which I'm sure is, was in the original photo. Melody just logged in, and she's over on the um, webinar jam side. So anyway, here is the method. Now cross your fingers and hope this works. Are y'all hearing me okay? Okay, you caught a little. Okay, good. So the the plan is to cover this. I can't stand it to be crooked for me. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me just a minute. I, I can't think with that going on. Hush. I don't think that helped much. And I think Mr.'s outside and they can see him outside, so they're not happy. 
So, anyway, I got a lot done in the studio yesterday. The floor is almost empty, except for just a little pile. Now, the plan is that you take black Come on, I had a black. Where did I put it? Well, flat, all organized. A lot of good it did me to lose a bottle of paint. What I'm going to do is use some black, and that doesn't have the. Oh, this is supposed to be black. I'm using oil rubbed bronze. This is a Martha Stewart. <clears throat> but what you need is something that's dark. Woo, I got too much. And I've got my little pad here. Nothing will go to waste. Now this is a thin coat, but enough to, crap, I can't remember if it's supposed to be dry or not. Rosemary's not here. I can't remember, so I'm going to go ahead. This is the laser. I just stuck my finger in that. And she said to rub it gently. Because if you rub it too hard, you'll get more than just the black transferring. Piece of white paper under here. Now, what should happen is that the black areas of the picture will end up on the plate, and I don't see a blooming one, blooming thing, draft. I was hoping that was going to work. And these can be saved and reused, even if it didn't work. I'm just going to take a piece of copy paper and make sure because you can't always. Oh, I suppose there was a little. I'll get into the groove here in a minute. Let's just put some deco art. Rosemary, help! I'm going to dry this a little bit and I'm going to hold it up. This layer has to be dry. Almost. Yeah. 
Y'all let me know if you have any um, of those weird things from YouTube, you know, like the flashing lights and buffering. I think that this should be better quality. Right. Now I'm going to pop this on there and this you can rub heavy because you want to pick up both layers. And since I don't think I picked anything up or transferred anything, and it also helps that your paper. Rosemary, what am I doing wrong? This layer has to be wet. Or it doesn't have anything to stick to. All right, we're playing, right? Here's the ceram coat black. I thought I had it out. I'm not as good an experimenter as some people are. I get kind of discombobulated. And this is the inkjet. Okay. It's um, really behind. See, I'm already rubbing the paper now. Now just rubbing away. It's a cool print, but I had that buff color under it. I'll get settled down here in a minute and we'll get this thing right. Okay, are you in Chrome or no? Nope, there it is, it's doing it on mine too. Well, that answers that question. It's a good 10 seconds behind. Yeah, I see it. Mine's doing it, too. If I back out of that, I'll have to start it over in YouTube, which I can do. Yeah, mine's just jerking and stopping. It didn't do that, did it, Mary? On Saturday and Sunday, we didn't have that problem. Well, it doesn't look like this is going to work for me at all. But again, that's a print that's not a throwaway.
Is anybody watching through uh, the browser straight to YouTube? Mary's on an app. I have to be in Chrome to make it work from a desktop, but mine's lagging too, so. Aha. Uh -huh. We got something. And I'm going to put some nickel. I need rosemary. Ah! Rosemary, I have watched you a million times. You know what? I don't know why it's doing that because Saturday and Sunday it didn't. What am I doing wrong? Black paint or dark paint down first. And then you put paper on and pull it. Correct? And then you put your lighter color on. I'm lost. Dark color. Lay the print down. That's my print. Dark color. Lay your magazine paper down. Pull it off. And then put down this, whatever your light color is going to be, and pull it again. So I don't think that worked. Oh, well, we wanted to see, didn't we? Yeah, I'm using, um, I couldn't pull from, well, first tried, I couldn't pull from inkjet, I mean from laser, so now I'm trying inkjet. And they're fresh because I just printed them, but I don't think it's working. Getting pretty prints though. Nope. What is this? I don't understand that. This was a leaf for us wearing like this. And this was my print. All right, let's go Ceram Coat Black. The black paint doesn't... Oh, you pull, the, you pull up the magazine page while it's wet, though, right? Hell is in. Maybe I'm going to see if this works. Picture of one of the grands. And now. Lightly. Make sure it's all in contact and then pull it. And we're wanting it to leave something on the plate, and it's not. Oh, sorry, little Rosie Marie. Now, this dries. I was so hoping this would work. I mean, it would open up a world of possibilities with 
pictures of paintings and kids and I know that's going to make the autofocus go crazy. So don't look. Now, hi Lena, I'm trying ink jets because you tipped me and made me remember I wanted to do it. And so far, no luck. Well, Rosemary said we couldn't do it. Where was she when we were talking about it earlier? I'm sure getting some pretty textures, though. Yep. Nothing, honey. Well, we proved that. And I've got a bunch of black and white prints here that can go back through the machine. Magazine. Do I have a magazine? I didn't come prepared for magazines. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have fashion magazines. And this is matte paper. I bet that won't work, will it? Uncoated. Lena, I printed some with a laser and some with an inkjet. Neither one worked. And then Rosemary chimed in and said, you can't use a print from your printer. And that's an uncoated paper, or clay-coated. It's not glossy. That won't work either, will it? No matter. Oops. Journaling. I'll have to go to the thrift store and buy some. Okay, that's glossy. Not much high contrast, though. And not much point in doing it just like you did it. That's the problem with clean plate. Let's try it. We haven't got anything to lose. Ceram coat. Oh, pressing too hard. Just make contact. I got it. 
Now let this dry. See, I'm with you guys. My nose starts running. Anyway, I'm going to have to go to thrift store and get some fashion magazines. I am so irritated it won't work from the printer. That would have been so cool. This is from a church in France. That's a painting. This is the model. So see, I, that would just be so cool. And that's another painting. Yes, Sue, that's another painting. Some of are cute ones. I was just sure it was going to work. See, baby girl. All right, quit whining. This is, I love the way I do things, um, Ice Blue Metallic from Folk Art. Mess with the camera just a hair. This makes it look like an old silver gelatin print. I try to come up with new stuff, but y'all always beat me to it. Piece of paper. Yeah. Um, I don't have any glossy laser. I've got glossy inkjet. That might work. That might be the problem, is that it's matte instead of... That might work. See, it's kind of ghostly looking <laughs> with that blue ice on there. That's a keeper, though. That should work, Lena. I like that. See your eyes. All right, let me see if I can find another another something something in this magazine. And there's something right there. Okay. Illustrations are good. 
<laughs> Chalk paint by Paper Artsy. This is one of Seth Apter's. I'll roll it out on here first. Oh, crap. Got enough of that to do too. Well, I guess Poppy didn't take them with him to the bank. the whole page. Maybe we'll catch some type. Lightly. Damn, Pandora. Dry, dry, dry. No, I've got it. It's clean on this side. This is the dirty side. I'm going to go back in with this. Oh, paper. I didn't want to waste all those crusties on the other side. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened there. There's the head. No, that's a, obviously a briar mark. Okay, now I'm I'm going to do what Rosemary says. I'm going to clean this, even though it was clean side. In fact, I had never used that side for the very reason that I might need it clean someday. Okay. We'll miss you, Lena. Hot bag. <laughs> you did get it all, but I get a baby wipe out. It's an interesting background. I can build on that for something else.
Okay, clean as a baby's butt, except around the edge. Well, I mean, baby's butts aren't necessarily the cleanest thing you could think of to compare. <gasps> Excuse me. Not bad manners to good beer. Let's try Prussian Blue. This is a... I haven't tried any... I haven't got it down yet to try, so... It's going to be a lighter blue because I still had some white in there. Oh, crap. I didn't pick a picture. Don't dry, don't dry. There's one on that side. Okay, lightly. Okay, it's all down. Trust me, I wish you were in webinar jam so I could ask you direct, but I'll figure it out. Looks like I must be pulling too quick. Hey, Lena, if you have a minute, take a uh, uh, good photo of the drawing you did of you and me. That is so cool. That color was Thalo, no, Prussian Blue Hue by Deco Art. We'll go ahead and use this icy blue again. Hey, Linda. Go, go over and hit the like thumb so that YouTube will continue to put us in good position. see something hang on yellow D she was up near the top okay Melody said on my way to grandkids okay so that is it was a similar message so I thought well maybe maybe that chat on webinar jam transfer to YouTube, but it didn't. That's creepy. I love those color combinations.
Oops. Pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's pick out a picture first. How about we'll try this one or two more times? Since this is the only magazine I have, <laughs> it didn't used to be the case. And this is more artwork related, which is fine. I don't want a picture of 60s ladies. This is a cool magazine. That's Pam Carriker's work here. That's a maybe. I don't think those have enough contrast. I wonder if matte medium down on the plate first would pull that toner off. Oh, well, I wasn't looking at it. <laughs> I need help. Oh, computer is not touch screen, is it? I can push that button all I want and it's not going to help. Okay. This is the trick that I want to use this for. Rosemary should pop up there in just a minute. I need a keeper. Okay, there's not much in there. I'm going to try this and then I'm going to try matte medium. Hate to waste all that grunge. Hey, Rosemary, you want to see what that grunge on my plate made last week? I love it. This was the leftover India ink that I had. I'm not going to try that until I know that I've got something to play with. Booger. Mm -hmm. 
slightly. Where are you, Rosemary? I hit the button. I cleared you for takeoff. Hi, Carmen the Younger. Yeah, we're having a YouTube day. I was hoping that Webinar Jam would not do that, but it is. Not leaving anything. Well, maybe. And maybe not. Sure is a pretty sheet though here. Now light color. I'm going to use this golden interference bronze just because I can. I do with it. Oh, I gotta have a clean piece. I think I should stick to painting. I'm not sure mixed media likes me. Oh hell, it'll come loose. One here. Rosemary, what happened, Bubba? If matte medium picks up on a regular image transfer without a jelly plate even involved, it's going to be a pretty background paper. Let's see some white spots in there. Hey, I know what. I got one of those barren doohickeys. Surprising what you might find in my studio. Nope, but that's a pretty starter for a background. All right, let me get the matte medium. Ow, 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 ow. And she knows right where it is. Yeah, it's I've got shiny. It's a little piece of concealer. Glazing medium. Come on now, you were bragging that you did. I may have all. Here's one I can get rid of. I really like this. Uh, this is the Walmart Simply Acrylic. That is just about empty, which is great. I 
I'm gonna let that dry. What y'all talking about? I know, Carmen, we're ha I'm having fits today. But in all honesty, I did not have a problem with this Saturday and Sunday. So it must be bandwidth. It could be the time of day. I don't know. I don't know. I used to be a, somewhat of a tech, but I'm not anymore. Rosemary, how come I can't see you yet? Uh, drat, drat, drat. We tested this over the weekend and it worked great. I mean, you know, other than. And now it won't let paste. There it is. Okay. If I if I switch, I didn't mean to log out there. I don't want that. I want regular YouTube Chrome. Um, if I log out and start over on YouTube, it'll be a whole different ball of wax. Um, this is getting dry. Does anybody know how to get a smooth? Well, you're not. How to get a, well, you can't hear me. <laughs> and that's in Safari, which I didn't mean to do.
Why has it kicked me out? Blech. All right, 